The title of this one from Dead Bedrooms. I'm 22. I've been married to my wife who's 26 for a year and I'm still a virgin. What do I do here? Okay. What's the first, what's the first thing you notice in that title, Chaz? 22 versus 26. Ugh. It's like, hey, Chaz, I know you want a loaf of bread. Got this loaf of bread. Um, my neighbor bought it from his neighbor at a garage sale in 2010. <laughs> I'll give you give it. I'll give you for five bucks. <laughs> oh my God. Well, you see, at least the loaf of bread, I can tear it apart and throw it at some birds, but you can't really do that with a 26 year old woman with them dusty eggs. Yeah, dude. Imagine getting like, what? what's the reason guys get married? Well, traditionally to start a family, okay, right? Well, currently, it's like I love her and we have sex and I want sex, right? Yeah. So it's just feelings and words. Bro, I have feelings and words with like 10 women a month. <laughs> I don't get married to 10 chicks a month. Let me get into this. He says, I was told I should post this here. So here it is. My wife and I got married in February of last year. We had a small ceremony due to COVID restrictions and our honeymoon was canceled due to the same issues. Well, that sucks, man. You can still have an ama- like, You can still have a great honeymoon despite COVID, right? You can just rent an Airbnb or go camping. I guess if he was in California, they didn't let people camp because, you know, um, someone's going to cough 30 miles away and you're going to die instantly and turn into um, a crown or some shit. We've been dating for four years prior to getting married. Okay, so he dated this chick when he was 18 and she was 22. Huh. And he hasn't gotten anything this yeah. whole time. In that time, we haven't had sex or anything close to it. We've kissed and cuddled and things like that. All good. And I like doing that. But we've never done anything more. She told me she was waiting for marriage, which is fine. And I was happy with that as I always thought that we'd get married. She lied. Dude, I she, would. I would. That, if I didn't get sex on my wedding night, I'm annulling the marriage. No, that is so fucked up right there. She told him, I will wait for marriage. And then what does he do? He marries her. And then a year goes by with nothing happening. He says, Just, um... I fast forward to the wedding day and I'm about to explode from excitement. This guy has been going no nut November for four years, bro. Bro. <laughs> He's like, imagine. what's this white frosting on this cake? It looks like it was added. Oh, don't touch it. Um, firstly, I'm marrying the woman of my dreams. Secondly, we finally get to have sexy time. The wedding itself was really nice, pretty basic in a small chapel, close family only. Then back to her parents' house for a meal. We then went back to my wife's house and I was ready for it, but she said she was too tired after a long day. No problem. What's one more day? No, 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 no. If you aren't excited to consummate the marriage with me on my wedding day, I'm not excited about waking up next to you. I'm actually, have to, I'm excited to wake up, go back to the courthouse and annul the marriage. You know, I, in my very, you know, warped sense of a marriage, I like to imagine that the wife is jumping at the idea to be intimate with her husband. She loves this guy. She can't get enough of him, right? And that's obviously what he was expecting. But, you know, expectations, you know, they suck. If a woman's sexually attracted to you, she is going to surprise you by her sex drive, right? I mean, I did this one chick, this goth chick. And we banged a couple times. And then, you know, we were dating and she said something like, I don't want to have sex with somebody that st- that can't say they love me, right? And this is like five years ago. And I didn't say I love her, but she didn't say she loved me. So it was kind of like, who's going to say it first? I was like, oh, okay. So I respected her and I wasn't like initiating sex at all for like two weeks. I like I would get home and she'd be like chilling in my apartment at that time. I literally got home and she would like run to the door. Like this happened like twice. And she would just grab my dick and be like, I need this right now. (laughs) Damn. I'm like, okay. But I was like reserved because, you know, she said that and I was respecting what women said and not what they did, you know, um, complicated relationship, but it's all right. It ended good for both of us. It ended good for me. (laughs) So chronic, how many meds do you think this woman is on? His wife? Yeah. I don't know. Let's find out. I wake up the next morning and she's gone out already. No idea what time she loves. She just left a note on the fridge. Your first morning waking up married, you don't even see your wife. Yikes. Okay. Yikes. Yeah. That was almost a year ago. Every time I tried to broach the subject, she's either too tired, upset, not in the mood, or some variation of it. She called me obsessed with sex as I was asking most days at one point. But how can I be obsessed if I never had it? 
I've taken her on romantic date nights, and as soon as sex is mentioned, she's put off because it's supposed to be spontaneous. So I tried to spontaneously engaging, but she accused me of attempting to sexually assault her if she didn't give consent prior. I'm confused. This guy needs... To, the, the first day, he should have gotten an annulment. The second... 365 days, he should have gotten an annulment. This is pure sympathy on Reddit. Like It's like we're looking at an alien species. We're like, huh? It's like this guy's life. Yeah, I'm just so confused right now. He's not just going to quit. I only had one woman tell me that if we had sex, it would be sexual coercion, and I dumped her on the spot. Yeah, that's never going to happen to me. If I, dump, ever... I dumped her on the spot. I was just like, get dressed. Um, Let's go get ice cream. And she's like, okay. And then I took her back to her uh, college dorm. She's like, what are we doing here? I'm like, I'm breaking up with you. She's like, Smart. is this about the sex? We can have sex. Just pull over. And I'm like, I, I, I'm like, this is, you know, I said to her that really pissed. She actually slapped me after I said this. Did you say it would be great? No, I said, this sounds like relationship coercion. <laughs> <laughs> she slapped me so hard. I actually got like a mouth, like a, like a, like a tooth bleed, but like a, like I, I bit my gum and got a mouth bleed a little bit. Uh, then she uh, ran into funny. the dorm crying and she actually tripped. And I was just, <laughs> I, la I started laughing and the windows were down. She turned, I was like, you're an asshole. <laughs> It's are laughing harder. <laughs> <laughs> she just eats shit after slapping you, bro. I was bleeding. Out. My gums were bleeding. She like slapped. She, this, this chick was like, you know, a removed cousin from Mike Tyson. I was shocked. I was like, damn, she's been pretty good. So I put her in the boxing club, but um, I've grown closer with one of her friends over the past few years. Uh-oh. I'm also good friends with her younger brother, and I was out for coffee with her during the week, and she asked me how the bedroom life was going. Something she talks about with reference to herself, but I often deflect when she asks about my experiences. When I confessed that we never done anything, she was shocked. I thought, who wouldn't be shocked about a married couple where they're both still virgins? But no, she was shocked because her friend, my wife, was, quote, incredibly promiscuous before she met me. Ah! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I think Sean is, bro, I think this is Sean. I think this is Sean trying to like post, you know, on an alt oh account, God, talking bro. about how his bro. <laughs> I want to wait to marry. This is <laughs> this. Take notes, guys. <laughs> Never be like this, dude. Uh... <laughs> this <laughs> like. <laughs> what chronic? What do we say? What do we say, dude? <laughs> oh my god, bro. <laughs> bro, I, I'm gonna puke. <laughs> bro, <sighs> I haven't drunk anything at all tonight, and I'm about to vomit, dude. Ah. Fuck. Ah. Ah. Oh, I'm crying, bro. I'm crying right now. <laughs> oh, getting, imagine getting married to a hoe bag who says she wants to mate to marriage, and then a year later, you still haven't had sex. I can't imagine that. Like, Chronic, this is a situation where, hey, imagine a new color you have never seen before. You can't do it. You physically cannot imagine a color you've never seen. Imagine being married to not only a non-virgin, a promiscuous woman who has had 14 lovers at minimum, and she isn't giving you sex. Um, she's incredibly promiscuous before she met me, and all sorts of things with all different kinds of people says she had about 14 lovers she knew. this left me more confused confused i would be i'd be pissed off bro yeah i would be so angry am i undesirable well, she, why would she marry me if i'm not attractive i waited four years to get married and to have sex with a woman that i love and now i'm still waiting any advice would be greatly appreciated. The top comment is from a moderator. Locked. Too many ignorant tourists finding this post from elsewhere. <laughs> this is... It's funny, but this is also just sad. But all the other this, commenters this is, kind of agree with us. Like, this guy like, says, What advice could you possibly yeah. need? You waited because of religion? Open and shut case. Get an annulment due to the marriage never being consummated. Yep. Based. Annulment. Next. Sorry, bud. I don't think it's going to work out. She made it clear she doesn't want it. Don't hold out hope and find out why. Um, what else we get here? Um, 
The way she's turned her normal sex drive into some pathological dysfunction is very, very troubling. I would seek an annulment now, and if you manage to turn it around, get me remarried later again. However, do not engage further sexually and consider ending it. It's not healthy or normal. And that comes from a woman, right? This is a, a DB yeah, yeah. poetess. Yeah. It's just... This is what love does to a motherfucker. This guy is willing to sacrifice so much. He's like, he's not getting sex. Yeah, he's still sacrificing time, energy, date nights, trying to be spontaneous. How many restless nights has this guy had thinking about, oh, my wife hasn't shown up yet? Or she's right there in the bed with me and she's not letting me do anything. So it's, it's a waste. Here's, here's what happens. Apparently, she got sexually assaulted by her daddy. And that's why she doesn't like sex. But for all the other dudes she had sex with, that wasn't a problem. Yeah. It's just... What more can we say? Just in the in the marriage, it, it was never consummated, so it's not real. And then let her be... She belongs to the streets, as the, as the saying goes. Oh, apparently she gave a guy a blowjob on their wedding day. Are you reading that in the comments? Or? No, this is his update post. Oh, an update post. Damn. Uh, I is there a link that I'm just not seeing right now? They're or? still married. Okay, no, you know I what? I, I don't care. Yeah, I don't care I if the entire country of Somalia raped you. If you're not going to give me sex on my wedding day, you're trash to me. You're useless. It's like getting married to a husband that doesn't make money and just smokes crack all day. He's useless. Same thing with you. No sympathy, nothing. This is it, the only place women can act like this is the West. Congratulations.